after that killer of a snapshot last week in 24W09A with the new and improved wolf armor, Mojang is back at it again. Today, we are covering snapshot 24W10A, which has new features for the upcoming 1.20.5 update, aka the Armadillo update. Now, last week was about the wolf armor. That was all the hype and the buzz. But this week, we're on to bigger and better. We have wolf variants. Similar to the overhaul that cats were given in 1.14, the village and pillage update, we finally have wolves that have different skins. Uh, wolves have pretty much been unchanged since uh, their addition to the game. And then obviously recently with their new collars. But I mentioned last week that I really didn't expect to see um, Diable Wolf Armor. I really didn't expect to see wolf variants. It was something I wanted. I wanted both of the things. But I kind of thought it was a one or the other type situation. But like both were kind of unlikely. We got both. And oh boy, Mojang, Mojang went crazy with this. So, uh, we have a grand total of eight new wolf variants. They are biome dependent. Uh, no unique, really, characteristics to them. They're just skins uh, similar to pretty much every other variant mob we have. Um, so, that means with the eight new variants, we have nine in total. So, the wolf design that we know and love has been named the Pale Wolf. Uh, pale wolf sorry. This is Pale Wolf. The Pale Wolf can spawn in the normal taiga biome. So let's go to one of those. Just to show you. Uh, we will spawn a wolf and we will get a plain wolf. Now, this used to be the only wolf we can get, obviously. The most common type of wolf that we will have in the overworld um, once this update comes out fully is the Woods Wolf. So this wolf will spawn in the forest biome, which most worlds have very large amounts of forest biomes. So that's why it'll be the most common wolf. Uh, this wolf will spawn in this biome, and it looks a little something like this. Now this design is very nice. If you look at the back, it actually kind of, if you have it close enough to trees, it kind of does blend in. I think that's a neat feature. So we'll go ahead and tame this woods wolf right here. Look at that. And obviously have the new collar still and you can put wolf armor on them and whatnot. And as I mentioned earlier, they'll behave exactly the same as normal wolves. Um, it's just a visual change that they added. Moving on, the next type of wolf we can find is the ashen wolf. Now this wolf it might be my personal favorite. I I'm really debating between this and another one, but we'll get to that in a minute. So we are going to locate a snowy, t snowy taiga biome. This is the biome that the ashen wolf will spawn in. So now that we are here, we have this ashen wolf. It has like a purple um, kind of top fur. And it's white and it blends in fairly nice. Oh, did not mean to spell a baby in. But uh, let's go ahead and tame this new wolf. Oh, oh, there's a naturally spawning one right over there. And look at that with the new collar. Let's, let's give him a blue collar, actually. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that goes crazy. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, that looks sick. I'm not gonna lie. The blue collar with this wolf might go crazy. I think I think this is my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah. <laughs> I I'm pretty excited about that. So yeah. Some of the wolf variants um will actually have different spawning mechanics than others. So the changelog doesn't mention anything about the Ashen Wolf in particular, so I'm assuming that its spawning uh numbers and frequency is the same as original wolves. But uh, I actually needed that bone. If we go ahead and move on to the next wolf variant, this is actually our first one 
that uh, has different spawning mechanics um, mentioned in the changelog. So the next variant is the black wolf. This wolf will spawn in old growth, old growth pine tiger biomes. I had to look at the change log because there's old growth pine and old growth spruce. Not 100% sure what the difference is. They look fairly similar. But we will take our spawn egg and take a look at the black wolf and look at that. Wow. That is oh, a very nice looking skin. I have seen people complain about the two little pixels around the eyes that pop up when you tame a wolf. Um, and it's very noticeable because the entire wolf is black and that's white. Uh, maybe they'll tweak it, but I kind of doubt it. Uh, wolves have been like that since they've been added. It's possible we could see iteration, maybe just for this specific variant. But personally, I don't mind it. Now let's see what kind of collar would go good with uh, this uh, new black wolf. I feel like green look nice. Oh, and green does look nice. Look at that. Dang. That is cool. Anyhow, um, so this type of wolf, the black wolf will spawn in, quote, smaller packs of two to four wolves. So when you find them spawning in your world, you'll find two to four of them um, spawning at a time. Uh, it has been mentioned that the spawning mechanics that are mentioned in the changelog don't exactly work as intended. So I'm assuming that'll be fixed up next week or at the latest before the update rolls out. But our next variant is also found in the um, tiger biome. We have in the old growth spruce tiger biome, our next variant. So we'll do locate biome, old growth, old growth. I don't know how I keep saying growth for old growth spruce biome right here, which again, I really can't tell the differences, but we have the chestnut wolf. Look at that, look at you. Wow, this this looks nice, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like happy with all these um, new wolf variants, but the chestnut wolf will also spawn in packs of two to four. And uh, I think it's kind of nice if you go to a taiga biome, normally all variants spawn next to each other so you can get four wolves right off the bat you can get the chestnut the black the normal and the what am i missing oh the ashen wolf yeah so four of them right off the back right off the bat um and then the woods wolf being the most common so right away you have five and we have a grand total of nine including the uh, original wolf texture so I wonder if people will collect these wolves. I'm sure they will. Um, it's only a matter of time for people to get all these wolves collected. Um, and I can see that being real fun. A real fun thing to do once the update drops. But yeah. Uh, overall, happy with this design as well. Moving on, we have the Rusty Wolf. So some of these wolf variants are actually... Um, well, previously, wolves would not spawn in these biomes. And uh, this is one of them. The Rusty Wolf spawns in a sparse jungle biome um as far as i'm aware and what the changelog mentions wolves do not spawn in jungles at all so this is a plus and uh, this will also encourage uh further exploration um which i feel like is a very very key thing they're aiming at lately with like armor trims and the villager rebounds and now the wolves so let's take a look at this wolf uh, I have seen people compare it to like a red panda. I don't really see what red panda. I definitely see fox. Um, had we not had foxes in the game already, I feel like everybody would call us a fox. But this is a very nice look as well. I like the orange. I like the kind of gradient to brown. It's definitely a nice one as well. All these wolf textures look very nice. I think Mojang killed it with these designs. And uh, yeah. Now... The rusty wolf will also spawn in packs of two to four, which seems to be a very common thing. But as we move on to the later uh, variants, we will see that that isn't always the case. But uh, moving on, we have the spotted wolf. The spotted wolf is also uh, in a biome that was not previously home to wolves, that being the savanna plateau biome. Uh, I feel like it's very oddly sp like specific, but oh well. 
<laughs> what can you do? But here we are in the Savannah Plateau. We have the Spotted Wolf variant. Wow, look at that. This is like the most abstract out of all of them. This is kind of like a combination between the normal one, the black, and then like the rusted one we just took a look at. Uh, this is very interesting of a texture. This looks very nice. I'm not sure the red collar goes with it though. Let me try a black collar maybe. That looks good. Let's try gray though. I think gray would look a little better. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Yeah. So this wolf variant, I believe, is a cat cat variant that's similar. Um, but this is very nice, very unique, and like outlandish. I kind of like the bag because kind of like a nighttime sky or is like I don't know stars or something. But then you got the orange in there. I don't know. I think it's cool. Um, this the the, um, the spotted wolf actually spawns in slightly larger packs. Oh, what is going on over there? So when you find the spotted wolf in your world, it will spawn in packs of four to eight, which is very interesting. That's a very large pack. So you better come to this biome if you like this design. Better come with uh, plenty of bones to tame them all, um, and then continue on with your journey, collecting all the variants. The uh, the next wolf variant we're going to be taking a look at is the striped wolf. So we had spotty, and now we are doing striped. This is again another new biome for the wolves. This is the, let me check the change log, the Wooded ba Badlands Biome. So let's take a look. Let's get to this biome. Take a look. This is the one with the, the trees in the top with the very ugly dead leaves. Um, I've seen people compare this variant to hyenas, which is actually very interesting. I kind of like that, actually. Um, and like hyenas, the uh, spotted wolf will spawn in packs to four to eight as well. So much larger than the uh, normal wolf or the other variants that we have in taiga biomes and whatnot and uh, i definitely do see the hyena uh, resemblance i think it's very interesting so post 1.20.5 we will have the new armadillos spawning in the badlands and savannah along with two wolf variants uh, one for each so i think this is nice it definitely adds liveliness to the biomes uh at both of which definitely needed it um and yeah, I think this is overall a major improvement. Side by side, I think they kind of do actually look pretty nice. But, uh, you know, consider this a hyena, not a wolf. Uh, as I mentioned, they act exactly the same. It's just a texture difference, but a very nice and very welcomed uh, texture difference at that. Now, we have the rarest and final wolf variant texture. So... The next wolf we're going to be taking a look at is the snowy wolf. The snow biome has the ashen uh, wolf, which I actually got confused about earlier when I was reading the change log. I, after I had read it, I like mixed them up. But the grove biome has the snowy wolf. And it being so rare is that not the biome itself is rare. Oh, wow. <laughs> One naturally generated in here um wow look at that design that is nice but um it's not that the biome itself is where rare but um the snowy wolf will actually spawn by itself um the change lock says it is a rare type that always walks alone so that is very interesting so if you have this wolf you better breed it and show off to all your friends of your new fancy wolf that nobody else has I feel like the Ashen Wolf, well, like the Ashen Wolf, the blue collar looked nice. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Blue is my favorite color. <laughs> and I think the lighter texture um, on these two wolf variants were to go look very nice. Yeah, I could see light blue. Let me try. Maybe white look better, though. I'm not sure. Ooh, that new gradient with the white, it's not so plain. It like, actually has like gray at the bottom. That's nice. I actually like that. I like that. Look at that. Sweet. And it almost kind of blends in. And then obviously you can put wolf armor from last week's snapshot um, on all of these wolf variants. And then, uh, of course, it's dyeable still. They didn't change that. Everybody everybody loved that, that change. Oh, is that another natural one? Wow. 
Huh, maybe it's not that rare. But um, you know, we'll add all these colors onto it. Yeah, Wolf Armor acts exactly the same as last week, uh, which is a good thing because it has received some very positive changes. Now let's take a look over here. So yeah, now you can travel these eight, nine, sorry, nine different biomes, get you some unique wolves with some new collars, new textures, and then give them some new armor. That'll basically make them invincible. And if for whatever reason it does break, you can repair with armadillo scoots. So that is it for Snapshot 24W10A. Let me know your thoughts, guys. What do you guys think about these new wolf variants? And uh, which one's your favorite? I think I've pretty much settled on the uh, Ashen Wolf as my favorite. So once this update releases, you will find me in the snowy taiga biome. Um, but yeah, that's going to be all for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe if you are new here. And uh, stay tuned for next week's snapshot video. Goodbye.